right, I was just double checking. So um, it, this integral from negative one to x, it's saying like whatever x is, I don't, uh, this could have been a little, word a little bit better. Like where x is, you know, an, an unknown value. Um, I'm used to seeing some kind of limit or something with that. I was, I was overthinking it. So the thing is, we don't know the actual function. So I don't know the actual function to integrate it. But if I were to integrate, um, this Taylor polynomial. Oh, I'm I'm doing the the bad thing. Okay. So this is our Taylor polynomial, but it's saying instead of using x use uh, t. So this is where we could say integrate it from negative 1 to x of 5 minus 3 t plus t squared over 2 factorial plus, which is just 2 plus. And this is, wait, this is 4 over 6. So that's 2 thirds. And I should use t. d t. Okay. So so all I would have to do is integrate each term. So that'd be 5t uh, minus 3t squared over 2 plus t cubed over 6 plus, that's going to be 2t to the fourth over 12, right? So that's over 6. 2 over 12 turns into 1 over 6. And then we can evaluate it from negative 1 to x. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll plug in the x and get 5x minus 3x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 6 plus x to the fourth over 6 minus plug in negative 1 and whatever the heck we get there. And we should get it's like 13 over 2 negative, so plus 13 over 2. Um, okay, so, let f be a function having derivatives of all orders for all real numbers, the fifth degree Maclaurin polynomial for f is given by that. Oh, I love this. This is a great AP question. find f prime of zero. Okay, this is a Maclaurin polynomial, right? So if we build it the way that we're used to seeing Maclaurin polynomials, I would see negative two plus 10x minus eight x squared minus four x cubed minus two x to the fourth plus one half x to the fifth. f prime, so Remember that the way that these are built is your first term is f, then f prime, then double prime, triple prime, quadruple prime, quintuple prime. <laughs> I just wanted to draw little dashes, um, even though you should just use a four and use a five instead. Okay, f prime of zero. Well, the way that we build this is we do um, like f prime of zero is equal to a sub one, right? And it's supposed to be A sub one times X to the one over one factorial. So F prime of zero is just 10. But if I wanted to know what F triple prime was, well, F triple prime, we would call that A sub three, right? And if you remember in the formula how it works, it would be A sub three X to the third over three factorial. And so when I look at this X to the third term, I see it's negative four. Negative four X to the third is what we get when we simplify A cubed, or A sub three X to the third over three factorial. Three factorial was six. So the x's don't actually matter here, but negative four is what you get when you take a sub three and you divide it by six. So to find out what a sub three actually is, we'll have to multiply that by six and get negative 24. 
So F triple prime of zero is actually negative 24. And uh, similarly, if I wanted to find the fifth derivative, I would go to the fifth term. I know that one half x to the fifth is what we get when we simplify a sub five x to the fifth over five factorial, and five factorial is 120. Um, so again, the x's aren't gonna matter here, but it's one half is what we get when we simplify a sub five over 120. So I'll multiply both sides by 120, and we'll wind up getting 60 is equal to a sub 5. So um, that's a really good AP style question uh, where they they're just they're checking to see if you can um, essentially like work backwards and think through things. Um, all right. Eight, what's the coefficient for x cubed in the Taylor polynomial Pfft, about x equals zero? Okay. So in this case, coefficient for x cubed, it's not asking for a sub three. Um, it's actually asking, oh, it's centered about zero. Oh, so it's just a Maclaurin. So I don't have to write the minus zero. Um, it's going to be get a sub three and then divide it by three factorial, and th and that'll be the coefficient for x cubed. So um, in the telephone, okay. So that means well, here's f. F prime is going to give me x. F double prime is going to give me x squared. F triple prime is going to give me. Uh, x cubed. So I have to find f triple prime. So if my function is x ln x plus 1, well, I got to do product rule for the first one. So it's going to be 1 ln x plus 1 plus x over x plus 1. That's my first derivative. Here's f double prime. That's going to be 1 over x plus 1. I gotta do quotient rule over here. Um, so that's gonna be one times x plus one minus x over x plus one squared. So I'm gonna simplify double prime really quick. I got one over x, why am I putting that in parentheses? Silly. On top the x's cancel and we get one over x plus 1 squared. Okay. So then triple prime, this will be negative 1 over x plus 1 squared, and this will be negative 2 over x plus 1 cubed. And since we're centered at 0, I'm going to plug in 0, and I get negative 1 minus 2, which is negative 3. What is the coefficient for x cubed? So I got negative 3, but then I have to take negative 3 and divide it by 6, The because uh, a, a3 was, was negative 3, and then divide it by 3 factorial. So I got negative 1 half. Um, so yeah. Now let's see. A function has derivatives of all orders at x equals 0. Um, let p sub n denote the nth degree Taylor polynomial about x equals zero. Yeah, okay. Nth degree Taylor polynomial about x equals zero. They could just say Maclaurin polynomial, right? It, it's the same thing. It is known that all this find f double prime of zero. Okay. Um, this is just a matter of Wait. Okay. I'm like, oh, it's so easy. Wait, I'm stuck. Okay. Let's see what I know. I know, uh, well, it look, looks like we're doing a, we're going up to P2. So let's see. We know that P2 of X is going to be 
a naught plus a sub one x plus a sub two x squared over two factorial, right? We know f of zero is eight, so we do actually know eight is equal to a naught, but then it says p sub one of three is equal to five. That doesn't tell me a sub one. What it does tell me is it tells me that if I look at just the first degree, p sub one of x, a naught plus a sub one of x, that's an x, sorry. If I look at that and I plug in three to this, I get five out. So I'm able to say I get five out when I plug in three, I know a naught is eight. I don't know a one, but I know when I plug in three, I get five. So I'll subtract the three, the eight from both sides, get negative three is equal to a one times three. So that means a one is equal to negative one. So now, now I'm able to say that P two has to be eight minus X plus a sub two X squared over two factorial, which is just two. Um, low battery warning. I guess my phone didn't charge well last night. Um, and it says P2 of three is equal to negative 11. So I get negative 11 over here when I plug in three. So I plugged in a three there, got three squared is nine. So I got all this. I know, I know I'm supposed to get negative 11. Find F double prime of zero. F double prime of zero is gonna be whatever A2 is. So. Um, eight minus three is five. I'll subtract the five. I'll get negative 16 is equal to a two nine over two. Multiply by two, get negative 32 is equal to nine. A two divided by nine, negative 32 over nine is what I got. Um, so, and that equals F double prime of zero. All right. So, um, I'll have to look at this one later.